members decides to play music he plays his favorites talks about how music influenced him uh, fred did the first one it was fabulous and gary did the act gary did one i you know we learned about his jukebox and all kinds of excitement and uh jd was supposed to go next except scott the engineer started uh begging tim sabian to do the next one Oh really? Yeah, I think Scott, the engineer, thinks he's like a bit of a musician, and a you know he played the drums when he was a kid. And, yes. And I think he sees himself as like an FM DJ or something. I don't know what he sees him because he worked at WPLJ years ago. Uh -huh. So anyway, tonight on Howard One Hundred One, it'll be Scott, the engineer. Uh, I've heard three clips from it, and I, I dare I say it's completely ridiculous. Let me hear. You're going to play as a preview? Well, first of all, he's he's obviously scripted himself. Like you so he's reading. Yeah, instead of just going, hey, here's a song I really like, which would be kind of interesting. Cool. He's, he's <laughs> prepared a, a document. <laughs> and then he went, and, and by the way, this also shows you he can do production when he wants to, because... He was really excited about it. Oh, this. he completely, like, produced this thing. And edited it up like like nobody else's special. <laughs> so like it makes me even wonder about him more because it's like, well, why didn't you do this on the other specials? But here he is, Scott the engineer. A little preview. Jumping ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums, and somehow I convinced so fascinating yeah. my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment. We lived in a small garden apartment. Jumping ahead a couple of years, what are we? What are we doing here? Oh, well, we're going through his whole history of music. He's giving you his. He's yeah, doing like chronology. a life of yes. Scott through music. Scott through music. Uh, now jumping ahead <laughs> in my saga, <laughs> my parents decided that I could get a drum set. How about we jump ahead 60 years so we're done with this special? <laughs> because we lived in a garden apartment. Is he the biggest bore on the planet or what? <laughs> he really is. I love him, but he is a bore. <laughs> Let's start again. Let's bore ourselves to Jumping death. ahead a couple of years, I decided I wanted to play the drums. And somehow I convinced my parents to buy me a set. Which, when I think back, was absolutely crazy because we lived in a small garden apartment on the second floor. And the only place I could play them was in the middle of the living room. It must have driven them and the neighbors nuts, but they put up with it. Yeah, I'm sure that's how he played. So at age 14, I started my first band with some of my friends I grew up with. And one of the first songs we learned was Glory. Oh, it's just, it's ridiculous. That's not the idea of the special. I just want the guys on there playing their favorite tune. This is music I like that means something right. to me, is the right. idea of the special. Right. You scripted this thing. You say, it's it, you're, you're doing it like um, one of those rock specials from from the eighties. What? Yeah, it's a, it's supposed to be stories about your, your the music yeah, you like. Yeah, just get so, on there. Go, hey, you know, hey, this is Scott the. Engineer. First of all, I didn't beg Tim Sabian. I asked. I heard. Uh, I asked. That's all. Once okay. can I do? Can I do playlists? Second of all, I didn't produce the other ones. Who did? Uh, Steve Brandano. Well, he should have produced this one. Okay, you're well, overly produced here. Well, all right. Well, it. That's fine. Um, if you, I like the, I like when you talk. Hey, you know. Uh, I needed to write it down because it, I didn't like the way it sounded when well, I was. Well, of course you did. What you did? What you didn't like the way it sounded when? When? When didn't you like the way it sounded? Well, I I did some takes and I, you know trying to just be off the cuff <laughs> and I didn't like it so. Because it sounded like you. Yeah, I guess. See, yeah. you shouldn't have been the judge. Well, no, I gave it to them. Yeah. For their approval to Tim and to Steve, uh -huh. and then what well, they, they do with it? After, I said, "Here, here it is. You do what you want with it. This is what I did." If they could have just said, "Do it over. We don't yeah, like it." They sh you should do it over. Well, I mean, this is so ridiculous. Here, let's listen to more of Scott. <laughs> I've already told you. Now back to the greatest special ever made. <laughs> I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio. But we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. And by the way, you know what else is annoying me? I've never seen you care this much about anything. I care about everything I do. Yeah, but no, you're way more caring about this. Like you're, This is your masterpiece. I've already told you about my first band. You know, I told you about my first band. <laughs> I told you about my living room and my first band. I say no one will listen to this. Well, that's, I mean... <laughs> that's what I'm saying. Because it's not you, Scott. It's just stories about the music that... Yeah, you get on uh, there. Here's a story, I'll tell you. You know what? You're not going to believe this one about Black Sabbath. Uh, what do you, 
And now I will tell you. I had you, a band. Uh, can you believe my parents wanted me to play the drums in their living room? <laughs> I mean, that's not you. We know you. You're not fooling anybody. The first song we learned was Deliria. <laughs> G-L-O-R-I-A. <laughs> Shout it out loud. <laughs> I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, <laughs> but we didn't last very long, and I moved on to another band. No. And believe it or not, we called ourselves Black Sabbath. Uh, That's uh, right. I'm not kidding. I'm and then a few kidding. months later, we find out there's a band from England called Black right. Sabbath. Well, I think they became a little more popular than us. Did you ever realize that one he of the had guys... the same name? One of the guys in your band heard of Black Sabbath and then well, just no, ripped they, off the name. They, he said Do you no. think that was a... Co he said no. What, you're, no, you're never going to be a detective. He uh, I was 18 friend, years old. Your friend didn't 17. come up with Black right. Sabbath. He said he, he heard of Black Sabbath and said, fuck it, no one's ever heard of this band. We'll be Black Sabbath. Did you know my father's name was originally Elvis Presley and then he found out there was an Elvis Presley? <laughs> How'd you find out? <laughs> so here's the group that stole my band's name. This is The Wizard by the second Black Sabbath. Wow. Who stole? Stole my band's name? Stole. What? Say it again. Stole my band's name. Bad English. A bad English. It's atrocious. Good. <laughs> Here is the band that stole my name. They confiscated it. <laughs> yeah. And you wrote this out, no less. Yeah, I know. What the fuck? So you'd have been better off just talking. Yeah. <laughs> It's the, he wrote down the band that stole my name. <laughs> they stole your name. Stole. S stole. Not stole. I probably you don't wrote, put a D on I the end I probably wrote stole and... Yeah, yeah, right. Probably somebody screwed you up. Then we formed a band named the Beatles after Black Sabbath, and then they stole that too. <laughs> and then they made some Led Zeppelin, and two weeks yeah. later, well, you get the idea. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, the Scott that we want is the one that, you know, would introduce hands up. Uh, they, they you got plenty of that. Everybody ready? <laughs> oh, sh I haven't heard this yet. Everybody ready? See, that's you. Come on, that is me. Hands up. Instead, we got you to. And now, Black Sabbath, the band that stole my name. This <laughs> <laughs> is crazy. You know what? Maybe I will listen to this. <laughs> I'm having a good time. See? <laughs> it's entertaining in some way. I have a dream. What is this? Martin Luther King is part of the Scott special? This is overly produced. This nation will rise up. I see you're bringing us back to the era of the music. Yeah. Beautiful. I'm trying. Live out the true meaning of its creed. I'm painting a picture. <laughs> Where's my garbage pail to throw that picture in? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Wow, you're moving us with your mosaic. Welcome back to Playlist. Oh. I'm Scott the Engineer. Oh. The 60s was a very turbulent period in American history. The oh, my God. Who wrote that? Uh, when do you use the word turbulent? I wrote it. Well, I'm, I'm describing you what... Wrote, you copied this I off... I didn't copy it out from anything. It. The, the 60s was a turbulent period? It wasn't. No, it is, <laughs> but, uh, but you don't talk that way. Well, uh, the I 60s wrote it. Was I wrote it all. Supercalifragilisticexpialidocious period in my life. <laughs> Wow. The 60s were turbulent. <laughs> Would you believe this? All right, the 60s was fucked up. What do you, I mean, what I mean this is the same guy who said stole in the last yeah, thing. Yeah, stole. <laughs> it was going strong, and the country got involved in what most people thought... And I was sitting in my parents' house, ew, doing nothing. Playing yet. drums, annoying the neighbors. <laughs> ...was a senseless war, which led up to huge protests at the 1968... What, is this a history lesson? Yes. ...Democratic National Convention. Yeah, which I wasn't a part of. The world's watching. The whole world was watching TV, watching. like everyone else. Like everyone else, I sat in my living room and did nothing about the wall. Watching my hair fall out. Someone asked me to protest, but I was busy. <laughs> what are we leading up to here? Uh, we're getting to bowling. a very dramatic moment. <laughs> bowling. <laughs> Let's cut to the bowling. chase. Let's get the bowling. <laughs> now, I wonder what song this is going to. <laughs> teenager who was approaching my 18th birthday. Hmm, I could have ended up a more. Can you imagine the world without Scott the Engineer? My number was coming up. 
<laughs> Me, bald, covered in napalm. <laughs> do you do anything about the moon landing? Do, do we get to that at some point? No, there was no moon songs. Mm -hmm. And I would probably be drafted into the army. What a loss. Which was something I really didn't want to do. There were many protest songs at the time, but after hearing this on the radio, I thought it really captured how I and a lot of other people were feeling. The group was... Er Any hair loss songs? Also at 18, my hair was starting to fall out of my head. <laughs> Here's a song called Hair. <laughs> and how I don't have any. <laughs> hair, not. Hair, not. Thought bro. Hair today, gone tomorrow. <laughs> <laughs> and the song is The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Whoa. The Great American Eagle Tragedy. Who does that? Earth Opera. Oh. Oh, he's so a, obscure. Oh, and look at the look at the big smile on his face, yeah. Robin. It was played a lot. It was, I listen to play Great listen. American Eagle Tragedy, Earth Opera. I listen to FM hey. music on any W in New York. It was played a lot. <laughs> this is what you're supposed to say. Right. Not about. It was a turbulent period in our history. <laughs> it sounds like a fucking history lesson. Say, you know what, man? I used to listen to NEW radio, and I used to hear this song a lot. You know, and it came out right about the time I, you know, my draft number was whatever, and you know, I real was stuff. shitting a brick, <laughs> literally a giant brick. Here's a picture of it. Out of my ass. Yeah. <laughs> right after they stole my identity. Only <laughs> <laughs> hey. Scott could fuck up playing music. This is the worst of Scott. I don't believe this. Okay, you don't well, say turbulent. <laughs> it's ridiculous. What, does every show around here have to be run by me? Huh? This is going to be... What time is this on tonight? Seven. All right, I'm making an appointment. Gary, Absolutely. email yeah, I me. I remember that. I'm going to set Maybe. an alarm. I'm not missing this. How long does it go on for? It's an hour. An hour? Yeah. be the longest hour of my life. <laughs> <laughs> Put the CD in your bag. What is that song, Scott? The Great American Eagle Tragedy? Yeah. Do I know that song? Fred, play that song. We don't have it here. Oh, it's so obscure. That's what I'm saying. He's so now obscure. giving the music. No one is, knows. <laughs> Tonight, not only won't people... Well, that's the idea. That's, yeah, that's I what mean, I'm that, supposed to do. I know what the idea is. That wasn't it. That was, uh, uh, well, you know, Robin, no one's going to want to hear me, and then I'm going to play a song no one wants to hear. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to see if I can get everyone off the channels. <laughs> You'll see. <laughs> hey. I'm running everyone away. This is Scott bragging that he knows a very obscure song. That's right. Not at all. He's oh, yeah. a real musician. I'm a musicologist, not like Fred, a wannabe poser. <laughs> Everybody was waiting for, we thought the song for sure was going to be like Ohio. Right. Or right. No, 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 no. That would be you. That's too predictable. <laughs> I got to hear this song. Come on, is it there? Uh, Gary, it's we're talking there. about a very yeah. turbulent time in our history. Really, it's a ten to ten minutes song. <laughs> this song spoke to me. This special just reminds me why I never want to talk to Scott. <laughs> <laughs> this song spoke to Scott and you don't want to talk to him. I was actually thinking of hanging around with Scott, but this special reminded me not to. <laughs> uh, did I ever tell you the time my band was called Black Sabbath? <laughs> <laughs> Let's go to dinner and discuss it. The story was annoying then and it's annoying now. Uh, which would you rather hear about when my parents got me my first drum kit? Which My was very fan. surprising because we lived in an apartment. Or would you rather hear about the Great American Eagle tragedy? <laughs> <laughs> What's the band? Earth Harp? Earth, Earth Opera. Opera. Earth Opera. What oh. else did they do, Scott? Mm. Nothing really. <laughs> yeah. You couldn't they play that. This. <laughs> now I'd like to talk to you about a song I really love. It's. A Czechoslovakian song, <laughs> so you've never heard of it. <laughs> it was only played in one village, and they only played it once, in reverse. Right after they chased Frankenstein out of the village, they played this in celebration. The villagers were very angry. It was a turbulent time in the village. <laughs> yes, in fact, Frankenstein had stole one of the children from the village. <laughs> and the villagers were enraged. <laughs> oh, here's another word. Hey, Frankenstein. Hey. And here it is, Czechoslovakian Frankenstein music. Uh, for your listening five. Five. Yes. The times they were a changing. <laughs> yes, my hair was thinning, and the music scene was rapidly becoming cooler and cooler. <laughs> At this point, I had about five strands. <laughs> <laughs> and I wrapped around my head. The whole special should have been like in relation to how many hairs he had on his head. <laughs> Crosby, Stills, and Nash had long, luxurious hair, and I had the opposite. <laughs> I was down to 200. <laughs> 
two hundred heads, like a thread count. I told everybody I was a Mohegan, <laughs> but they weren't buying it. <laughs> Women were rejecting me left and right. Hey, Good. I even did a war dance. My first wife left me right about now. My ego was destroyed. No hair, no house, she took no my wife. My hair and my earth hopper. <laughs> <laughs> She took everything but my hair. <laughs> oh, my God. What a special. Well, I can't wait it to hear special. it. It is special. It is special. You're right. <laughs> I'll give you that. But we can't wait for it. Good. Yeah. Thank you for doing it. You're welcome. Yeah. Is there another song, at least? I think Scott had visions that was going to lead to him like doing voiceover for some music specials. Right. Yeah, no this vision. is a show yeah. he's planning to do in the future. The year was 1972. Munich. Athletes were being slaughtered. Here's earth, wind, and fire. Let's groove. <laughs> They're gone. <laughs> They're all gone. No, it's got to be somebody you've never heard of. Never again. <laughs> <laughs> it was maddening. At this point, I was up to three packs a day and had one strand of hair. <laughs> I was a real mess. E. Uh. <laughs> oh, uh, here's, here's, here's my time has come today. <laughs> <laughs> the, band was, the, the band was inspired when they heard my coughing on the street one day. That's right. It was right around the release of Joshua Tree that my soul died. <laughs> <laughs> Feeling alone in the world. No hair. No love. <laughs> bad luck. My final hair had fallen out of my head. Hard luck and trouble, my only friend. <laughs> I've been down ever since I was ten. <laughs> Here's born Bono. Like under a bad sign. <laughs> Here's Cream, born under a bad sign. <laughs> If it wasn't for bad luck, <laughs> I wouldn't have no luck at all. <laughs> Could have been a great special. No, instead we got this. <laughs> I've already told you about my first band on WABC Radio, but we didn't last very long. What a disappointment. I've already told you about... Mm -hmm. Up-tempo, Scott. Happy, Aren't Scott. are you people paying attention? <laughs> Where are we in my life story? <laughs> Let's jump ahead a few years. Yeah, no surprises here. Mm -hmm. yeah. oh, can't wait for the special. Where are you going to be during the special, Robin? I'm going to be uh, sitting by Hiding. the fireplace. <laughs> it's going to be one listening of, intently. It's going to be one of those specials where people go, "Where were you when you first heard the Scott the Engineer <laughs> music special?" <laughs> Well, uh, thank you for putting that together. I do appreciate it. You're and welcome. I'm sure we'll have a few good uh, times. I think I'll have that. dinner with yeah, Scott. I'll give you yeah. plenty of uh, material. Yeah, but a lot of people are going to be doing that. They're going to be having dinner parties around Scott's uh, special. <laughs> All right. Now, uh, to end the show, what do you end the show with? Really want me to give it away? Oh, maybe you yeah. All right, you're right. You're right. Yeah, leave us with right. a there's, there's so much more that... I will tell you the group I end it with. Okay. You probably never heard of them. Go ahead. Probably the never heard of any not. of this music, right? Right. The Vagrants. Of course I heard the Vagrants. Oh, of course everybody's West. heard of the Vagrants. Oh, you're making a joke. No, no, it's the Vagrants. <laughs> no, I didn't. Who this... hasn't heard of the Vagrants? A lot of people haven't heard of the Vagrants. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. I mean, they're no Great American Eagle tragedy, but. No. I mean, they were. <laughs> the Vagrants were Leslie West's first band. Yeah. What was their hit song? Respect was actually their the cover of Respect. Right. Which I get none. But I you're not playing that. I didn't like... play that one. No, of course not. <laughs> I, I played... That might have actually interested some people. <laughs> I played yeah. And When It's Over. I see. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. Get it? Get it? And, because and the, the show is over. Okay, you're right. Special. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, I think that will not be lost on anyone. Then. <laughs> it will be a turbulent moment. On what is this? Scott plays the full 11-minute version of the Great American Eagle tragedy no. in the special. Of course, because this was a very important. Ten minutes. Yeah, not 11. It'll enjoy it. You Actually, take I, a cut shit a, I cut a little off in the beginning. It's about nine. Yeah, I, I cut it down a little to keep it people. It spoke to me and everyone. And maybe one person will stay tuned, and we'll see if we can get rid of everybody during that song. This is a song nobody knows, but Scott mm. says 
it it summed up what he was feeling and a lot of other people too. That's yeah, eleven think... minutes long. It summed up for no one because okay. nobody cared about it. <laughs> Good. All right. Thank you, Scott. You're welcome. All right. There he is, Scott the engineer. If you're wondering what he's been up to, well, now you know.